Welcome to Royan's world of wheels. Are you planning to do ceramic coating for your car? Wait, there are certain things you need to know before getting your vehicle ceramic coated because it's quite an expensive process and you need to spend quite a lot of amount from your wallet. So wait and do a little study and only then venture into getting your car ceramic coated. Most of us immediately after taking delivery of our car would like to spend some amount to enhance the brightness of our car and one thing what we all generally do is to get a normal paint protection done for the car. Earlier it used to be the Teflon coating by DuPont but now there is ceramic coating which comes in a package from one year to three years then to five years and even more. So do the normal paint protection help? Maybe yes or maybe no but it offered some sort of a protection to the car paint from various external sources like bird droppings, acid rain, tree sap and so on. But with the invention of ceramic coating, things have got better. With enhanced protection to the vehicle's paint, the paint is protected against most of the external hazards such as bird droppings, especially those of large birds like eagles which tend to have that stickiness and which is difficult to get rid of and it leaves a permanent mark on a beautiful car. Secondly, it offers protection from the harmful UV rays which eventually affects the paint and fades it over time. With ceramic coating, the fading is slowed down. Moreover, it protects from the harmful acids present in the atmosphere, so also from the acid rain. Third is the commonly found swirl marks which occurs due to the improper way of wiping and washing the car. But here, do ceramic coating provide full protection against it? No, you need to learn on how to wash and wipe and which I will be showing you all on how to do it. Fourth is the ease of cleaning, but here I myself will have to dispute it and would suggest that you better clean your car well and don't go by their claim. Fifth, the one thing I am really fascinated about is the coating on the windshield. And I would suggest, even if not done on the entire vehicle, get your windshield done. It ripples the rainwater. And finally, it's the oxidation and corrosion resistance power in the ceramic coating. When the car is exposed to sun over the years, it fades due to oxidation, due to the ultraviolet rays. So also when exposed to rain and vehicles near sea coast. So, what is ceramic coating? Ceramic coating is a polymer based industry grade ceramic solution which when applied to the car blends with the paint and creates a hydrophobic effect and provides an enhanced layer of protection to your car and is typically applied by hand. It is an alternative to regular waxing or Teflon coating but provides better protection to the paint from the vagaries of nature. This car is not ceramic coated. And I will show you all the difference between a ceramic coated and a non-ceramic coated car. I will just pour water on the windshield and you can see the water spreads. It is the silicon dioxide found in ceramic coating which provides enhanced protection over waxes and other paint protection sealants. Now coming to the science part, at molecular level the nanotechnology in the product blends with the paint and fills the microscopic pits and grooves and creates a hydrophobic surface. Silicon dioxide is suspended in a resin in the form of nanoparticles in silicon dioxide and the resin suspends it in the film over the paint surface. On the other hand, optic coat harnesses the strength of silicon carbide. Unlike silicon dioxide, silicon carbide is formed as a result of chemical reaction in the process and not by having nanoparticles of the ceramic floating in the resin. Ceramic coating is otherwise known as nano ceramic coating and which is commonly used in ceramic pro. I will just show you all the hydrophobic effect in a car which is ceramic coated. I can just see when I pour water, the water does not stay on the windshield and on the body and it is only the droplets which remains and the water does not spread. Ceramic coating does not offer you your car paint protection from one rock chips, deep scratches, squirrel marks caused by wrong washing and wiping. Second, you still get those white marks from the hard water when the water is dried or evaporated. 
The white marks are caused by the calcium and magnesium deposits found in the hard water. Third, a wrong notion for many is that it eliminates the process of washing the car regularly. You need to be extra cautious while washing a ceramic coated car. All it does is it helps in reducing the burden of getting those unwanted stains which attempts to blend with the paint to be removed easily. And therefore you need to regularly wash your car. So is it worth getting your car ceramic coated? Well, it all depends on how you like to see your car. For those who wish to see their car shining and clean without swirl marks, ceramic coating helps provided you also take very good care of your car. Well, if you have decided to go ahead getting your car done with ceramic coat, I would suggest that you get certain parts done with paint protection film or PPF. Those areas are especially the door handles, the inner part of the door handle because this area you tend to get scratches because of your nails. So also the fuel tank lid and the bumpers because these areas there is always a chance for scratches from the scratches to develop. Some of the brands which does ceramic coating are the Ceramic Pro which is silicon dioxide based and OptiCoat which is silicon carbide based. So there is a basic difference between silicon dioxide and silicon carbide. In silicon dioxide it is the layer which enhances the protection. So you get to hear one layer, two layer, three layer. So and what happens is it uses a th measurement or thickness or 9H measurement and that is how it has been measured and the more the layer the more finish it provides to the car and the sh car shines. But in OptiCoat which I have done in my car it's silicon carbide and it's an entirely different process where there is only one layer and what it does is it blends with the paint and it gives enhanced protection is what OptiCoat claims then it's rival. There are other competitors like System X and others also in the market. So well before considering getting your car ceramic coated make a very good study and only then venture into getting your car ceramic coated. There are certain things which needs to be borne in mind while washing and wiping a car which is ceramic coated. While washing and wiping you should always make sure that you all don't wipe and wash in like this because what happens is it leaves a swirl mark. So while washing and wiping you should always follow the vertical or horizontal direction thereby protecting the ceramic coat of your car. I got the car ceramic coated from OptiCoat and which is silicon carbide based. There is yet another competitor to the ceramic coating, the graphene coating and they claim theirs is a superior product than ceramic coating. So before considering any of these products, I would recommend that you do a proper study and only then get your paint protection done for your car. I hope you all would have liked watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel to watch new videos. Thank you.